have our countdown. And qualification match number 13 underway. West of the Red Alliance, we're seeing a little bit of a different strategy from the Red Alliance than normal. Instead of one robot going for all of the power cells on the initiation line, it looks like they kind of split it up. West going for the lower half and a few power cells from the shield generator, while Jet 2928 took the upper half. This is something we haven't seen much today, and it worked out well for the Red Alliance, giving them that early 14 point lead as we enter the main portion of our match. Jet and Wes now working on simultaneous shots. They both get their hoppers completely empty before RJ9 is in to do some scoring of their own for the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance scoring, similar strategy playing out. Two robots kind of taking the lead and racing between the shield generator, the loading zone, and the outer and inner port. Well, Run Robot is behind them. Logan4476 grabbing power cells and starting to get ready to make their way back over to the outer port as their partners trade places with them. And we're tied up. But that tie doesn't hang on for very long. Blue Alliance in the lead, 200 to 192. Just over a minute remaining in the match. Not much contact occurring between our two alliances, but Jet 2928 looking to change that story. They come in and try to get in the way of Nick 862, now trying to get in the way of Matt L. We're seeing that ring around their robot indicating the timer before they get respawned. Jet doing a good job trying to limit their contacts that they are getting in the way of their competitors, but don't get respawned to the initiation line. It looks like that defense was just what they needed. They're keeping it still neck and neck between our two alliances. Red Alliance taking the lead back from blue, but it looks like the blue alliance ready to take that right on back. It's all going to come down to how these teams can manage the end game period that just got started. And as always, we're seeing these robots trying to wait as long as possible before they race back to the shield generator and attempt to pull themselves up on the switch. Matt L trying to get in the way of Jet 2928. The tables have turned where once Jet was the one playing defense, now they're the one that need to protect themselves from the defense of the Blue Alliance. It looks like Jet not able to make it to the shield generator switch by the end of the match. It looks like all three Blue Alliance robots may have been able to make it up. That could be the difference. We'll wait for the final score. And that final score is in Blue Alliance, 400 points. They're going to take home the win. The Red Alliance with 330. The Blue Alliance, another perfect match. We're seeing plenty of those today at our Sim Champs. They're able to score greater than 90 power cells. They're also able to score 65 points or greater during the end game. This means they earn two ranking points from their victory and an additional two from their shield generator operational and energized status. Red Alliance only gonna be walking away with one ranking point. They were able to energize their shield generator by scoring 100 power cells. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier 2 plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.